Hello traders, investors, observers. Um, we're going to look at BABA and Jack Ma, Jack Ma's financial empire, very briefly because much of this looks like a threat. And I think going to the charts will help us see what may or may not happen and uh, we can make informed decisions. If you're long BABA and you were long BABA since it was $100, I doubt you have anything to worry about. But even these articles, if you read this, a lot of this is threats. And a lot of it has to do with Mr. Ma um, you know, criticizing Chinese officials. And you just don't do that, even if you're a billionaire. So this is the chart on um, Yahoo Finance. We're going to go to my chart. But I just wanted to show this gap. I'm going to point these two gaps out. Are those the gaps? No, right here. This gap here. These two gaps here. Right there is a gap. And right there is a gap. Right in here. I believe it's significant. Why? Because when this BABA came down, now this is the weekly. If you pull out, you can see more. You got more information. Like one thing is this drop below the 20 day moving average. Very risky to trade below the 20 day moving average, in my humble opinion. But this drop and this gap fill, see, a lot of traders will tell you all gaps get filled, okay? I would say that fits in my 20-80 rule, that you could say safely 80% of the time all gaps get filled, right? So on your daily, see, this was, this was contending for the 20-day exponential moving average anyway before this drop I don't believe there's anything coincidental in the market so the gap fill I was talking about is back here right back in July of 2020 so if you look at the Disney chart you'll see that Disney hit something like um, 176-ish. I don't know if it would, if it hit 177. Um, and then came back. And if you look the way it's trading, I believe it's having problems going up because there's a gap fill down at 167. That's my opinion. So this gap fill that I was speaking of is way back here in July. Here is a contended line. I put it in a box. That line and this highs and lows and you'll notice is it a coincidence that that contended area and Baba stopped at $211? Is it a coincidence? I don't think it is. I really don't. So, what should we do with the information we have? Okay? It looks like China, it's mostly a threat. There's, there's no way of knowing. There really is no way of knowing. I don't really tr trust <laughs> the Chinese. But I want to show you some things on the chart. This is the, this is the daily chart. I love the daily. I think the daily is the most important time frame. And the other ones are to add to your knowledge and your information. This contending for the 20-day exponential moving average said the stock chart itself was in trouble. Okay? So, it finally broke to the downside. It broke on news. It broke on the last day of trading when the shorts oftentimes will take advantage and pile on on a name. The bulls don't have to contend. 
Could it be the Bulls saw the gap that needed to be filled and they pulled away and then they restructured what they had in Baba and caught it back down here? Look at the wick. See this wick? That wick tells you, if you know anything about charts, that Baba hit this level here around, um, well, the low of the day was 211.23. And it, bo it bounced off of that level, that trend line, okay? If the shorts come in Monday, will the bills jump in, contend with them, and create a short squeeze? A short squeeze, you could look it up. I can explain it really quick. When somebody is short on a position and the bulls come in and push the stock up, the shorts look at their red position and they watch those dollars climb. When you are short, you can lose infinite amount of money. Unlike waiting on a long position, you could just wait, right? Unless it gets delisted, which is rare, right? The bulls have a way of embarrassing shorts. However, I watched a guy make $10,000 on this Baba on this day by shorting it. Now, he has a huge account. Granted, I think he plays with a, a half a million dollars. So he, he shorted it and was actually pleasantly surprised that it went down so low. But this wick here, back to the wick, back to the chart, this wick means when it hit this level of 211.23, the shorts covered, took profits, which means they literally had to buy borrowed positions and brought the stock up to here and you can bet many bulls either either they jumped out here and restructured and got a better price or they added to their position whatever they did that's this this wick is a wick of profit taking and bouncing i'll be curious to know what the bulls do what the bears do what the market does to Baba tomorrow when the market opens. I would be curious to see if there's any new news articles to come out to boost it to the upside. Like China is, it's all a threat. You know what I mean? To minimize it. Let's not forget, some Chinese stock market players play the stocks in the American market, okay? And there is a lot of manipulation in the markets by everybody, everybody. You can't discount that. You can't discount the TV, none of that. That's why the charts are so important. I will tell you a, a day trade that I am considering. This is not advice. No one can advise you what to do with your money. Your advisor can, but that in effect, you're giving them your money to put into ETFs or 401ks, things like that. I would, I can't do that. I'm not qualified. But I'm thinking of just jumping in at the open and put a stop loss at 210.50, right? If I lose $300 on the trade and the risk reward look into some videos on risk reward i think the reward could be more of a say a $500 gain rather than a $300 loss depending on how many shares i'm willing to trade i'm going to wait it out going to feel it out going to look at the pre-market and decide you decide for yourself don't trade unless you know what you're doing especially something like this this is a high risk trade if you're already in BABA and you're losing, I feel it's a big company. They're, it's exponential growth. They have a Alipay, which is like PayPal. 
I, from what I read today, if I'm not mistaken, they're doing better than PayPal. And that's why the regulators are trying to tell Jack Ma, you should shut up. Don't criticize us or we can hurt you. Okay. And they sort of threatened him to say, you need to go back to your Alipay and all that stuff. And it could be all rhetoric. We don't know. I like to see a bounce on this play, though. Um, there's people that know what to do with this. And really what we do as traders, we follow the big boys and hopefully get in on the train ride that they're giving us. Okay? So we'll see what happens. Thanks for listening. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start asking people to like the videos, please. Subscribe. I'm going to try to grow this channel. I'm going to try to better my videos and um, weigh in. Go ahead and weigh in and um, we can talk. Um, I may even exchange my email with people. So this is all about charts and moving averages. It's a science and it works. Mostly you want to trade um, trends not a bounce play like this. It's safe. Also, I recommend looking into the ARK ETFs. If the market ever corrects really hard for myself, I'm going to really put a lot into ARK F, which is ARK FinTech. If it, if it really corrects really hard, I'm going to probably scale into something like that and protect my money. Thanks for listening.